having people on retainer because you're not sure if that is the right person to fit you. What do you want to add individual? Go for it. I was just going to ask you, so then how much do you really like the women you've put on retainer? Mm. Because you just said that if the woman was perfect, mm. even out of season, you would still pursue her. Yeah. If a woman is truly right for you, how much like are you willing to put make things work even though mm. you're out of season, even though you feel like you're not ready yet? If you found somebody who you feel like is a good match for you, why not pursue them? Even if you feel like things aren't perfect in your life right now. I think you know what it is? I've met a lot of women that I think are good for me. If I'm honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'm in a season where I've met a lot of women and I think a lot of them are good for me. I think they've got great qualities. I think we could make it work. But I'm just not in that space right now. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It has to be perfect. I mean, I have to, I have to meet that girl. And there's seemingly this, I, I just, it's inconceivable that I'm going anywhere else. Do you know what I mean? Right now, it's not inconceivable. All right? <laughs> and I'm focused on work. So it's like that person would have to be, would have to hit me. Bam. And it's like, oh my God. Like Adam and Eve, just like, bam. You know what I mean? Because other than that, it's not happening for me right now. Do you know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not in that season. Do you know what I'm saying? But uh, again, it can happen, ladies. It can happen if you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, the cost of you out there. I'm ready. <laughs> but, <laughs> Go for it. So then, do you think that's a bit idealistic? Mm. Okay, it has to hit me. Mm. As opposed to being able to work things out with somebody who's actually a great catch, because it, what it sounds like is like okay, these these ladies are great in their own right. Yeah. However, my standard is a bit higher than what they can currently offer. Mm. Then is it too idealistic to be like okay, she has to be perfect? What exactly does that entail? Like we can go a lot of different places with that. You know what I mean? You don't want to know the truth because it's dark. Nah, nah, this is unfiltered, isn't it? This is well, <laughs> a brother out here. Let's try to get. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, status as it changes changes pulling power true you understand as my status is shifting it's not it's in a, it's in a state of flux right the people that are coming are different and it keeps changing a brother doesn't want to cash out too early you understand <laughs> <laughs> David I want to thank you for pulling that out of this good brother. <laughs> and this is why hey. these are all very needed because this is, <laughs> ladies, this is how men hold other men accountable because Kojo <laughs> tried to toe the line. <laughs> and that's the truth. That is the truth. Cream, what are you saying? <laughs> hey, I, I get it though. I definitely get it. Yeah. I definitely get it. So, ladies, don't cancel me. Listen, you never know. You could be the status I'm looking for. Please don't cancel yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> at what point, at what point mm -hmm. is it like enough? You know what I mean? Like at what point is just because you could that you could always play that game. There could mm. always be another J. Cole said it himself. There will always be somebody else. Like you gotta love you have to love whatever you have right now. Because you can mm. get somebody and think you, you really won the lottery and then mm. you're locked in for two years into a marriage and then you find somebody else that's like, damn, what she got that though. You know mm. what I mean? So then it's just like at what point would you ever feel satisfied? Because there's one more, there's one more glow up. That's yeah. the same. There's one, there's one more last glow up, bro. <laughs> I can feel it. I mean, that season, I can feel it. There's one more last glow up, bro. There's one more last it's, glow up. Sure, it's the last one. It's it is the last one. Trust me. It's the I last one. It. It's the last one. Because because I, I I look at I'm a very pragmatic person. I look at yeah. I look at different factors, right? You know what I'm saying? And I will keep it a hundred a buck. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a hundred bucks for you guys on here. So first of all, obviously when we first were younger, I had a physique change. Yeah, that changed. My physical body changed, right? Now the money has changed, right? So the money has changed, right? But there's one more glut where the money and the look change at the same time. For instance, my smile, it's not the gap. This thing, when this thing here, remember I was talking about appearances. I keep a hundred a buck. The appearances affect your options. Listen, the girls that love me, they love me regardless of whatever. I, I, and I appreciate that, yeah? But I'm shallow. I've got a bit of shallowness in me, okay? I love the fact you love me whatever, regardless of whatever shape I'm in. But I need a, I, 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 that's not me, okay? So I need a little bit more. I need a little bit 
more, just a little bit more. And like I said, your appearance changes options, right? So as my appearance is changing, as I'm getting more finer, ladies and gentlemen, okay, as my money is increasing and getting longer, right, the options are changing. Now, there's that, that's what I'm saying, is that there's one last glow up. There's this one last, that, those two are connecting. We're almost there, I can feel it. We're almost there. Once that hits, we're good. By 2022, probably 2023, guys, you'll see me in a white and then you'll see me walking down the aisle. Because when I'm, when I'm ready, I'm, it doesn't take me long. I'm in there and I'm ready to go. We're not doing protracted negotiations, but uh, once we're in, we're in. Do you know what I'm saying? This is me being totally honest about why I'm not in that space right now. There's one last glow up that needs to happen, that financially and that little thing. And it's about to hit because all of that is about to come into culmination. Plus, I need to know that person who's going to want to be with me. If, if my status changes where I have to be in public, I you can't have a partner that's not comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. That shift is crazy. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So you may ha I may have a partner that would be cool with it now because where I'm now, it's not crazy. But what happens when you, your thing shifts completely and, now, and it's completely different? I don't need a Steph Curry, Ayesha situation where you're questioning whether because <laughs> you want attention. I, I don't need that from you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, So there's that last... Do, do. When it hits there, brother, I'm telling you now, your brother will be settled down because, you know what I'm saying? That's me being well, truthful now. Who's? I got a question for you, I Coach. But what, oh, what about LeBron Sean. James? What ah. about LeBron? Look at LeBron and his wife. LeBron's right? a special case. Uh, but but uh, but you see a lot of cases like that where those long, even Denzel, Denzel and his wife, like you and, and Samuel Jackson, like these brothers, the, the, the long standing relationships are those that you knew me when I when I was getting it out of the mud before I glowed up True. because those women that kind of getting you either right on the cusp or once you've reached a certain pinnacle of success, they are not able to ride the wave with you. You know, um, you can also, you know, have to doubt their authenticity. You know, you got to question their authenticity. So you just might want to kind of look in that little small space of the women that you're seeing. And listen, if it's not there, if they don't 100 percent do it for you, I'm not pushing that. But if there's a woman or one or two that are like, yo, I could see her for life. Don't rule her out. I can't out. see them for life, though. There's, there's, then, there's so many of them, but I can't see them for life. And it's not about your glow up. It's about them not being exactly everything that you need them to be, you know, to, to settle down. That's exactly mm. what you're I, I, for I, you. Do it for you, but understand that those women have nothing to do with that because if no, you, no, no, yeah, 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 it's more for you and for for what you you need, which is which is awesome too. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say like just to yeah. tackle really quick, like most of what you were talking about, just it was mostly surrounded upon like your satisfaction with yourself, like, of course, you being yeah. satisfied with where you're at in life or like your transitions and stuff like that. There's nothing mm. wrong with that. But if you're basing whether or not somebody's a, a good match for you based on where you're at, then it sounds more like it's revolved around like, okay, I need to be in a good space for me so that I could have a good match, right? Like you're trying to yes. grow up for the sake of a companion, but it's still focused on you. Like if you're going to be in a glow up, I think you should just be like, okay, this is what I need to do. Right. As opposed to being like, OK, before I can get this type of girl, I just need to do this extra thing when I think you could just do that extra thing. <laughs> you know, it's not like you just want to do it for 